Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm really proud. Somebody that I've been kind of mentoring on drawing a lake map sent me a lake map to critique it, and he did rather well. Um, my hat's off to him. Uh, there's just a couple things I would change. For instance, this house doesn't look like a house to me. It looks like a, a block with a roof on it. Uh, I would redraw the house uh, by drawing, you know, it doesn't have to be a rectangle or a square. And then taking a polygon and, and uh, making it a three-sided polygon and drawing you a kind of a roof and you can make it wider. You don't have to use that. You don't, and you don't have to take my suggestion. It's just a suggestion. And maybe scrunch it down a little bit. Kind of look at, make it look more like a house. Uh, maybe make the inside shape a little bit bigger. You kind of have the overhang. You've actually got a reverse overhang. You, the building is uh, bigger than the roof. And then you just take the uh, virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. And... Use your smart fill tool, and to me that looks more like a house. Uh, you don't want an outline because you don't want it to cut out. So I would replace that house with that house. But that's personal preference. Uh, also, what I would do some of these smaller roads, uh, smaller names of roads, I would uh, make a duplicate of them and. Put them on a piece of scrap plywood and test them out. Control D. And you've also got your duplicate set on quarter quarter. And I don't like that. Set your duplicate on zero zero. I'm a big advocate of that. And then that way, if you want to nudge that out of the way, you can nudge it right back. Um, see, it's way over there. You can nudge it right back. But you can nudge it, run that on a separate sheet of plywood, and make sure what that's going to look like, that little font. Other than that, the map looks good. Uh, that's going to be a really narrow cut. You know, let's just look at it. But if that's the way it kind of looked in the map, I mean, that is three one hundredths of an inch thick. <clears throat> it will cut up, and if you paint the back layer, it will show up. I'm thinking that's that would not work if you were going to uh, paint and replace that. Uh, I'm thinking you're going to have that cut out. This would be a good space because your map's on the corner. If you could cut this out and paint it and put it right back, it would look pretty good. Um, but, you know, if you want a layered map, and I don't know about writing down in the paint, that's going to have to be a test. This piece is going to fall out. You know, there's nothing holding it. You know, my suggestion to do it right now if you're going to put this in a frame and this frame is 20 and a half by 13 and a half, I don't know if such any frame of that size. But let's do this. Let's group this together. Control. Well, let's leave it alone for a second. Let me, let me move my house out of the way. And what I would do, and I'm just a suggestion, would be able to, first of all, get a frame. And then make a little bit more of an edge, like a quarter of an inch. Okay. And then take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Delete that line. Then this piece of the plywood, and I would even do it on this side, becomes one piece. And if it's only a quarter inch and you got a half inch of frame, it's going to give you something to hold into. Uh, this would still cut out, but your frame is going to encompass that. Let's just say our, your frame was fit in like right there. You'll have to do some measurements. This piece will stay in. and It'll make the whole thing a frame. And I would do the same thing to this side. And then once you've got that done, let's get rid of the house totally. And group this together. Well, first of all, I would check. Let's make sure there's still a cut line on our map. So I'm going to nudge this out of the way. 
and I'm going to left click, no fill, and right click. And we still have a cut line, so we're good to go. And you would actually need to make this a cut line, the line we drew. So that is a rectangle. So what I would do is break curve apart and select that piece right there and make that a cut line, make that a red hairline. Kind of hard to tell by the picture. Let's nudge it out of the way again. So you do have a red cut line. So then you could get rid of this line totally. Whoop. We don't want to get rid of that line. We want to get rid of Well, all we have to do is take the virtual segment delete key and delete this line because we want that line to be there. If that's going to be your new size of your frame, then bring this back in. We'll go ahead and color it in again. And then take your whole thing and group it. And then make it whatever size you want. You know, we made it a little deeper. Uh, let's, you know, let's say you made it 14 inches. So it doesn't really change the thing, but the one I'm doing this video for, I would definitely do this and do it on this side. And also like that name is going to be hidden by the frame. So you need to think about that. Uh, what I do when I draw a, a map, let's say this is my map. I will bring in indexing lines and let's change our nudge distance to, let's say uh, by just a half an inch for reference. I will bring that in a half an inch so all my names have to be inside there and then I will put one there and bring it down so all your names have to be inside there it does not matter and it's almost a good idea to have your roads pass that line you know I would actually take all this and move it you know to the line because that way you just know it's going to be in the frame you need to look at the north you know maybe move that down a little bit um, well, let's just bring it in the indexing line and move it down a half an inch. See that N is going to be going to be taken up by the frame if the frame's a half an inch. And so is the W. I think, yeah. So you need to think about those type things. Well, that's what I did. I did it down here on this map, but I didn't do it on this map. So you need to think about that, your frame width, there's perfect, um, you know, that line. It doesn't need to be, it actually needs to kind of run off the frame. So I would maybe make this line we did earlier. The only other thing I see wrong in the map, and let's ungroup it, because you think you need to think about things I've learned through the years, is... You need to look really close at some objects and you can see them further away than you can close up. Those are little bitty pieces. <clears throat> now, one thing good about it, you're going to sand it inside the bed, but pieces that go like that, that's ridiculously tight corner. It's that node right there. Just kind of straighten that node out. I would actually bring, bring that code Kind of have a rounded corner. Give the laser something to work with. You know, take these corners and round them off a little bit. Nobody's going to judge your map that is perfect. You know, nobody's going to drive a boat on it from your map. So make some more sweeping corners. You know, help out the laser a little bit instead of having those sharp corners. But just kind of go around the edge. There's an awful lot of nodes right in here. Doesn't really affect the laser, but those pieces could break off. Because these are going to be pieces of land. or you know, So round them off. Give them some more strength. You know, uh, take away some nodes near it. You know, take away this, these couple of nodes. Take away those sharp edges. Let's see what happens if we delete that. 
and you don't want them all looking like that. So you could, you know, have it go like that, but then you're going to, you got a sharp edge here. So just bring that edge in, make the, help the laser sweep. You know, this is real tight. You know, we're talking, you know, a four one hundredth of an inch wide. And there's a bad spot in the drawing on that node right there. Just delete it. And you can, let me back up here and zoom in. And what I mean by a bad, bad spot, it'll engrave, it'll cut, but it's, it's turned around. So you can either do that or do that or delete this one. You know, just kind of look back at your map. You could actually make that wider by moving that out a little bit, taking that note. I know you're trying to stay close to the map, but you got to think about your cutting wood. And I'm going way too long with this video. Same thing here. Just kind of play around with it. Everything else looks good. You did a good job. My hat's off to you. Just kind of think about your frame. If you've got a frame, if it's a quarter inch, move that in a quarter inch. Make sure, make sure everything fits. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.